Hi, I'm Aki. I'm a minimalist who is a school teacher living in a small village in Japan. Since I started this YouTube channel, many people asked me many times, I want to see a video of your bamboo bike trip. So today, I'd like to finally share you my 2019 North and South American bamboo bike trip. The concept of this trip was sharing Japanese culture to locals while riding my bamboo bike. In this video, I'd like to share five things that I learned during this trip. So, are you ready? Let's get started! First, there are few things that people really need to leave. I thought this while I traveled from Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon, which is a hot desert area. Actually, at first, I had packed a lot of things in my bag when I started my journey. For example, English textbooks, bus towels, thick jackets, shampoos, dish and clothes detergent, and memorable items. This is because I thought I might need this during the trip. I was just worried and couldn't let go. Then I had over 30 kilograms of items in those bags at the beginning. However, because of the weight, the slower I became, all while exposed to the scorching sun for a long time. Since I was in the middle of a desert, which the temperature was around 42 degrees Celsius, my body got dehydrated easily. Of course, there were no convenience stores either. Actually, on the first day of the trip, I almost died when the water I had became only one liter left in just half a day. In other words, what I want to say is heavy luggage equal death. So after that day, I chose only what I really needed and let go of what I didn't need. As a result, this was all I had when I got to the Grand Canyon. Clothes, gadget, bike parts, others. At first, I thought I needed shampoo, bath towels, or something like that, but I didn't really need them. I learned that many things I took for granted in everyday life were things I actually didn't need. There are few things that people really need to live. It was this trip that made me realize this and helped my journey to become a minimalist. The second is, bamboo bikes are strong enough to travel anywhere. One of the worries I had while on this trip was that I thought the bamboo bike might break. Is it okay to carry luggage that weighs over 30 kilograms? Won't it break when traveling on an airplane? Won't it crack if exposed to extreme cold or heat? Is riding in the rain okay? I couldn't stop thinking about the possibilities. This trip was really tough. I biked in the snow, desert, rain, and dark. I even had a flat tire. The rear gear part was broken after an airplane ride. The part of the handle was bent because of the fall. But the bumper frame didn't break at all. I was able to realize the wonderfulness of bamboo. So, if you want a new bike, I recommend a bamboo bike. Because it's not only strong, but also comfortable to ride. And above all, it's kind to nature. By the way, it was Mr. Garson Aizawa, who lives in Osaka, Japan, who made this bamboo bike. I will post the link in the description, so please have a look if you are interested. Third, having few things equal freedom. As I mentioned earlier, I started to possess less and less stuff during this trip. On the first day, my luggage was heavy, and it was physically hard, so I couldn't have room in my heart. However, on the third and fourth days, as my luggage became lighter, my riding speed increased and my heart became lighter as well. I felt freedom. When I arrived at the Grand Canyon, I put all my luggage in my tent and biked around the park. I was really impressed by the lightness of the bike. I was able to go anywhere I wanted to go in a short time. After that, I decided to become a minimalist and live lightly. Thanks to that, I can even move with all my possessions in 30 minutes. Having few things equal freedom, that's what I learned. 
The fourth is keep an open mind. To be honest, I was scared at first when traveling to the United States. But because this was my first time traveling there alone, I know I was crazy, but I thought my money might get stolen by being threatened by a gun. But also I know dangerous things can happen in other countries too. However, in reality, there are many people who are really kind. Among them was Jay. He stopped his car and had gifted me water when I was in trouble because I didn't have enough water. It was a surprise to me. A random person on the side of a highway wearing a kimono. And he decided to help me? He said, now this is the only water I have. I was about to die without water, so I said, that's more than enough. Thank you so much. I was really impressed by his kindness. He headed off and I thought I would never see him again. But two hours later, I heard a horn from behind. There was Jay's car. This time he gave me cold water and ice cream. He bought it for me and came back. I was so moved that I almost teared up. He not only gave me water and ice cream, but also changed the image of Americans for me. I'm still really thankful to you, Joy. Thank you. The fifth is the tea ceremony connects the world. One of the concepts of this trip was to interact with various people through the tea ceremony. So I actually met many people through matcha. I was a host at the Japanese Cultural Festival in Canada. I was held a matcha event at the cafe. I made matcha in the park with my friends. I made matcha at the Grand Canyon at the United States. I interacted with a little girl at the church in Colombia. I was making tea a friend of my house in Colombia. Through the tea ceremony, I met people I wouldn't normally meet exchanged different culture and expanded my views of the world. I'd like to continue this matcha journey in the future. And when the borders open again someday, maybe I'll go to your country and make matcha while traveling on a bamboo bike. I'm looking forward to seeing you at that time. Summary. So today I shared five things that I learned from my bamboo bike trip. I hope you enjoyed it even a little and yeah, like I told you, I really want to go to your country and make matcha for you. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Until then, stay safe, have fun, and thank you for watching as usual. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!